All right, now we're going to do the late economy uh, challenge and try to get the gold first time. Looks like it's just a standard booming scenario. Shouldn't be too difficult. It kind of depends on what balance of resources they want and how used to the hotkeys I can get. I'm gonna skip this. When you are to complete, the I'm not that there's two cutscenes for each one. Your first task is to make sure that your town center and market are producing villagers and traders. It is very important that these buildings are never idle. You now have the resources to construct a second town center. Build it near resource deposits so that your villagers have easy access to them. I need to get to the Imperial Age as well. Where is the town center? Oh, there it is. I think wood is probably really important here. Hunting cabin, so it's basically this civic equivalent of a mill. Wait, 30 traders? That's a lot of traders. Okay, we need more on wood. I think you also want an extra TC as well at some point. I wonder if it's worth buying some stone. You must explore. Excellent. Once you have bad. the resources, consider building a third and maybe even a fourth town center. Pretty sure it's going to be essential to build additional markets as well. They just seem to train kind of slow. 35 seconds. Not do maths that quickly. <laughs> You'll need a lot of food to produce enough villages and advance to the next 75 age. Wood, um. Build many farms to ensure a steady food supply. Dude, we need this. Let's get that and this. I'd have won all eco techs, I think. The more on gold would be good. I don't actually have any on gold at the moment. A little bit surprising. Now is a good time to build extra markets to produce more traders. Traders are crucial to a booming economy because they boost your gold income and are produced from a different building than villagers. So you can produce both at the same time. Economic technology is cost gold but are crucial. Select your economic buildings and research the technologies that you need. Well, kind of blocking that second market. Okay, I could do with another town center. Second market's going down. Problem is that the market, the uh, the traders take so much wood out of your economy. Need more housing. You need additional houses to produce more units. Build extra houses to increase your population capacity. Uh, I'm gonna put another couple on stone as well. Just realized why I had no one gold because I took that one off. Okay, let's get that in. I think I'd probably be faster to get the uh Oh, damn it. Both of them are going to be idle. It's going to be fast to actually buy the stone. Hey, should have enough stone. Uh, really dislike this grid system. Okay, come on, Mon Gold at the moment. Don't think I'm gonna get that. Getting that feeling. 
I think I need one more market, honestly. I need way more food coming in as well. Let's get wheelbarrow. I need a select all TC's hotkey. Well, if I have one, I need to find out what it is. Okay, and now I can do with another TC. There's a few too many things to keep running in this scenario. <laughs> Not even water is usually this intense. I'm not sure if the villagers auto drop off uh, wood, for example. Okay, now let's see. See what's happening off the world. Probably moving all of the stone now. I don't think I'm getting another TC after this next one. Market, and there's no go to hotkey, which makes it so much more difficult than it needs to be. I think wood is the most important bottleneck resource here right now. Okay, so I need 13 more traders. I think I want one more market then. So we need to get to Imperial, which is quite a bit of food, so we really need to get this food going in. You need additional houses to produce more units. Build extra houses to increase your population capacity. Oh, that was not. Okay. So much trade already. Any more traders? Wait, I. Uh, eleven. Uh, and 15 more villagers. I think that's almost the right amount. Sorry, I'm not gonna have a food click up. Interesting learning a new game in terms of how to put a macro behind that. That's five. I need. You need additional houses to produce more units. That many more. Build extra houses to increase your population capacity. I think that's as many villages as I need. And traders, and then I just need enough food to click up. Then I would literally use all of the villages to build the landmark. I actually have. Gold loading now. We can even use market to buy a bit. Sell that hundred stone. You need additional houses to produce more units. Build extra houses to increase your population capacity. Uh, that is one. One more build. Okay, we're gonna do it. First time as well, I'm kind of impressed. You are constructing a landmark and advancing to the next age. Don't forget to keep producing villagers and traders while you're building the landmark. You need additional houses to produce more units. Build right. extra houses to increase your population capacity. I'm not gonna lose because it's some dumb trader. All of you, go, go, go. <laughs> I must go up in time. Very good. You have trained enough villagers and traders. Now, build a landmark. <laughs> build fast to go on. I think we got it. I think we got it. 
This doesn't seem like the most efficient way, but hey. There we go. 930 is, I think that's pretty decent for a third attempt. Great. Your town is an economic powerhouse. 47 idols just to get that going. They're just all standing there, like, admiring their work. I mean, to be fair, it's a pretty building, so... 